Hey guys, Brian Delivers You The Goods here. I'm returning to you this morning for another album review, and this is for the long-awaited album I was going to do, Demon Hunter Peace album review. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to and let you know my thoughts on this album. So let's dive into this video. Now, the concept behind this and the way it was set up was supposed to be a peaceful record with some ballads in it and more soft kind of riffs heavy tracks a little bit but Ryan's vocals in this were pretty mellow and laid back this was mainly a laid back album um, more than bones was the start of the record and eh, it was not really my favorite, but I didn't hate it. I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5 only because it was not so bad. But then we dive into I Don't Believe You, and that song does... It's kind of the same rating, 4.5 out of 5. It's just a laid-back song. And I don't mind laid back songs, but if you do it for a whole album, then there's going to be some problems. And there are some problems with this record. Uh, not too many problems, just a few songs on here that didn't pique my interest that much. Uh, Loneliness was actually not a bad song. It did a lot better than the I Don't Believe You track. It's the next follow-up to After I Don't Believe You, and it's like five minutes long and some seconds long. And it actually does really good with the guitar riffs and the drumming in it. It was great. And Ryan's vocals in this were still laid back, but not too bad. Uh, Peace was a very peaceful track. It, well, I wouldn't say it was that peaceful. It had some heaviness in it with the guitars and the drums mostly. And his vocals were standard mostly they were just normal vocals that were that he was singing and it wasn't all bad um but i'd give this a five out of five only because i do like the drums and the guitars in it and how the melodies moving along with the song uh when the devil come it's got like an old western kind of melody to it and it's catchy when he sings when the devil come and it's a likable song it's just still feels a little laid back and has a few quirky moments in the song where it gets repetitive when he sings what when the devil come like each lyric he sings and then he sings when the devil come after that it kind of does get a little bit old when he's repeating the same thing with just a different lyric but it's a different lyric than he sings when the devil come and it does kind of get a little old when you hear it a bunch of times uh, singing that same lyric or different lyric or whatever but the song isn't bad and I'm giving that a 4.5 out of 5 Time Only Takes was another good follow-up to the last song um, it's the guitars and drums in it were great. Um, sadly, there's no screamo in this record, which I get why they wanted to set this up 
they wanted to make this a laid back kind of ballad peaceful record with just normal vocals and in war you get the heaviness you get the screams you get almost everything you want for the war album and I thought war was a better album than this one this one's not a bad album it's just uh, it's too laid back for me which I don't mind laid back albums like this but question is do they work with most of the songs yes and no uh, there are some areas in this album that do tend to fall short with how each song is trying to convince you to like and not all the songs are very convincing um, but yeah time only takes I'm giving it a 5 out of 5 Two Ways was another great track it has a little bit of screams in it thank god uh, I was hoping for a song that has screams and it's getting a 5 out of 5 because I do like the screams in it or a little bit of screams it's just a little bit of screams and towards the end of the chorus and that's not too bad uh, rescue myself was another laid-back track that was pretty good I actually enjoyed it and I'm giving that a 5 out of 5 uh, the last two tracks bet my life and fear is not my guide bet my life was a standard kinda laid-back track again but didn't do so bad and that's getting a 5 out of 5 and the last song fear is not my guide was a beautifully written song and there's the piano and it's great and the melody is very nice and the song itself did a really good job and so did Ryan's vocals in it were pretty convincing to enjoy uh, that is going to be it for this album review. What did I think of this album? It's good. It's just... There are some tracks in here that don't do so well. And there are some tracks that don't do as bad. But out of 10, I'm going to have to give this record an 8 out of 10. Because it didn't do as bad it just fell short in some areas I would have given it a 7.5 out of 10 but I'm trying to be nice and give it a positive review and 8 out of 10 sounds like a fair rating to give it so yeah comment below let me know what you guys thought of Demon Hunter's new album Peace if you've heard it and if you like this review, comment below. Let me know your thoughts on. Uh, tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. Sorry I had to pause the video for a short second. Because I had to bring the dogs in mostly. But. Uh, yeah, I will be returning to you for the Marianas Trench Phantoms album review and Weezer's black album review which will be the last album review I do this Friday or it's gonna be tomorrow that I review it just depends on when I come around to it but thanks for watching this review I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video